represent all my island people say We people celebrating all it from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past when it's calling One step now we're just stopping, nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining and that's we partaking We represent the fire of the ones falling We resemble true art When we bust the line Flip the rabbits from the heart No, there's never gonna be another Previously on Delos We leave the comfort of Thailand And set sail for the Andaman Islands We celebrate Brian's birthday yeah. And the newbies get their first taste of passage um, Brady and Brian have just gone to pick up customs I think we're just setting up our array of paperwork for them. Looks good, right? And we've set up little sneaky GoPros around, so there's one there. <laughs> and like one up there, we're gonna put tape over it so they don't see the blinking red light, so we're gonna film it. We'd heard lots and lots of horror stories about the bureaucracy in India and expected it to be one of our most trying check-ins ever. So we wanted to be prepared to capture the action in stealth mode. We're live. Man, I just hope they're not going to see the lights. They're flashing pretty big actually. Hey, we want to tape. Can I get the tape? We need to tape this one too. Alright, now I just hope that they won't see this camera. Hopefully it all goes pretty smooth, mm -hmm. so we'll see. I'm going to try to uh, take some photos as well when they come. Because obviously I don't think that we can film anything, you know, with a camera when they come on board. <coughs> so I'll try to get some cool shots. We'd heard you should use an agent to help to organize the heap of paperwork required and guide you through the process. But it was expensive and we felt we were up to the task. First up, the customs guys. They're coming! I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> the last bit of footage that we can get. So we came prepared with 10 copies of everyone's passports, 10 copies of everyone's visa page, 6 crew lists, 6 detailed boat inventory lists, and various letters requesting arrival and departure into the country and everything was stamped and signed twice by Captain Brion. How was the experience, Brian? Well, I mean, the customs guys were pretty funny. They were poking around for a while, really nitpicky, but I gotta say, I don't think it was that, it wasn't that abnormal. What, uh, what, what were the, the main things that they were worried about? That, <laughs> the canned food was funny. You saw that we had 400 cans without the labels, and that was a big thing. Why did you take the labels off? Oh, for the bugs. Oh, okay, then how do you know what they are? Oh, we write on it. But how do we know what they are? I'm like, well, I, mean, I guess we'll have to tell you. But luckily, Karen had the shopping list, so she just printed out the shopping list, and they were very happy about that. And then, uh, apparently... Because of the Indian Telecommunications Act of 1962 or something, like satellite phones are illegal, or non-Indian satellite phones are illegal. So they freaked out that we had an Iridium on board until I told them that it was only used for text messages and weather and safety. And then I had to write a special disclaimer saying that that was all it would be used for. And we have to get that uh, approved by the Indian Navy tomorrow or something like that. So um, now I'm cooking dinner as you do. You tired Viking, you? Don't look at the light in the corner. Hi. It's the wondrous eye. What was I gonna say? I don't know. <laughs> what we're doing today? We finally have uh, Indian Coast Guard on board now, so hopefully it's the last step. And they came over in their boat 
But how many, and, like, how many years do you want to so again? Soon, they uh, didn't wake up early at all. Came over when they wanted. But they're all on board now so and going through all them. the stuff on the boat, making sure everything's good and we're not a danger. <laughs> yeah, once all the once once the business stuff is done, they just chill out. Yeah, yeah. So that went real smooth. Mm. Yeah. Good job on the paperwork. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. So what did it say now is uh, the forest department or something? The thing is, if we are going to go to national parks, then we need to go. We need to go to the forestry department and pay the. Feet. But otherwise, now we're done. We don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, but we still we, we, have we to do go need in. To pick up our paperwork. Okay. All right. Well, welcome to India. <laughs> don't know where to start. Know where we're going. It feels like we should go yeah, that we're way. Going this way. So just got to land, and of course, I have no rupia and no idea of where to go. This is crazy. First order of business, we needed local currency. So we convinced this tuk tuk driver to take us to the bank, even though we had no money. So what bank are you going to? I have no idea. Okay. But can you take all of us? Good, we're cashed up. And just across the street is the Department of Forest. But first we were in search of LT Ram, the Coast Guard officer that visited Delos earlier that day. We were trying to get our clearance papers to take to the customs so we could complete the check-in process. So after a lot of phone calls and discussions, we finally found LT Ram. So this is working out pretty good. I think we're going to get a ride from the Coast Guard to Customs, which would be really sweet. There's some confusion. I will drop you there and you collect your document and from there you proceed to your class. Thank you. Bye. Bye guys. Customs office was hot and sticky, with stacks of rottening paper everywhere. So after a lot of waiting, we ran into some more issues. Well, apparently satellite phones are a big deal in India. So it's this whole big thing about customs wanting to seal the iridium phone, which is actually not even a phone. The Iridium Go that we have, which we use for weather and staying in contact, which is just not, not cool to do. So we're trying to get the security clearance. These guys won't do anything unless they have a paper. So I think we're just going to wait a little bit. Stop pushing on so hard and see what happens. And figure it out. He's like, okay, good luck. <laughs> so Brady and Brian stayed up all night drinking. And then Brady thought it was a good idea to go in. <laughs> it was a fantastic <laughs> like idea. Six in the morning. No, it was great. You got you went into the customs house, right? I went to port control. Port control. Talked to them for about twenty minutes about their families, about America. He got a <laughs> bindi, which is kind of cool. And he also bought us back breakfast, our first Indian meal, which is de-rish. <laughs> Everybody's still waking up. <laughs> but we're all feasting. It was, um... oh, yes. After our Indian feast, we had to pick up the customs officers again. 
Apparently, a iridium sat form was illegal to use in India, and it had to be safely sealed out of our reach before we could complete the check-in process. Just like that. And then we have to get into this one, so don't. Yeah, perfect. Take it. Control. Hold like that. Control, Bambuga. One zero. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You need uh, scissors, please. Yes. One zero. Make sure seal it up real good. Is that tape okay? Give it like that. You don't have any glue? You need glue. Uh, glue. The glue will mess up the wood. Yeah, it'll, it'll ruin the wood. Do we have any other tape, bro? This is called Gorilla Tape, you see? It's a gorilla, it's very strong. Nice job. Alright. I'm gonna get a shot of it nice and sealed for safety. Okay. Bye guys! Bye! I'll see you when we come back. What does it say on there, Brian? <laughs> the, the heading is Declaration on Use of Non Inmarsat Satellite Phones. <laughs> so apparently, everything about it being a phone is bullshit. It's just if it's iridium that it's a problem. So it says, I, the master of vessel, hereby declare that there are one number of non Inmarsat satellite phones, and then it says in parentheses, Thoraya, Iridium, etc. In the vessel SV Delos, the details of which are under. No details. I further declare that I'm aware the fact of the use of non Inmarsat satellite phones, parentheses, Thoraya, Iridium, etc., is banned in Indian territory. Accordingly, I hereby undertake that such phones will not be used in Indian territory. I've also directed all the crew members of the vessel should not use phones in the Indian territory. So, guys, no, no non Inmarsat phones allowed. Okay. Well, it's taped away. We can't get to it. No, so. it's, it's, it's taped away. And it's stamped and it's signed in three different places. Sign it above and below. Twice. Twice. <laughs> Two times. Two times. Two times. <laughs> And you really wanted that. I just let my drunkenness guide me. Where was I? Right in without thinking, and I reached underneath the bed, and it was there. Why are you used to it? Yoshi, where did you put it? Probably threw it under there because it's so. Why? Put it in. Put it away somewhere. Organized it out of sight. Yeah, Look at you like my my brigadoons. Wait, where are you putting? You just gotta let it take it. <laughs> Are you wearing any panties, Rita? No, I don't. I'm not wearing any. It's got that natural air conditioning. Don't let the air fly, right? Dun, yeah. Da, 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 when I sit on the tuk tuk, it all comes in. All the cow breath. <laughs> okay, we're okay, ready. We go. We go. Who has the camera? Somebody's beard is right here. <laughs> it's in my hand. Whose beard is this? That's mine. We were all really excited to go in and explore more of India. Energy on the boat was high, a perfect time for some Swedish nursery rhymes. So far, I've just walked about 50 meters and I've seen some little Indian boys <laughs> jumping off the dock into the water. With their dongs out? It's good. How are the yeah. dongs? Well Pretty hung. well hung, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Now we get in a taxi. Hello, sir. And um, I'm gonna go to the foreign exchange place. We're gonna change some money, get some, get some rupee, get some saris, and then we're gonna go sari shopping. Oh, I'm sorry. You're sorry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't. Uh, Delos. Where are you yeah. sailing for first? Which island? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think is the best island? Sink Island. Ah, so. oh, we've heard Sink Island is very nice. Yeah. Sink, you must go. Sink is a really good Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. So we'll head over to Port Management Board, the Harbor Master, and we'll get our Thank final clearance. Ah, uh, PMP. Cool. And what's that? It's a very nice car. Yeah, yeah, super cool car. What is that on the front? It's a eagle. Hello. Hello guys. We're hanging out then. Hello. Hello. Just chilling with VJ. I like your ride. Yeah, yeah get in. It's a cool yeah, car. Like, this is a sweet ride. Yeah, yeah this is VJ, bro. Oh, VJ. Hello. Hello, VJ. How are you? Nice Hi. to meet you. Oh, there's a cow in the way. Come inside. So we made it to the port management board. It was a bunch of different offices, but we were taking off the list with only one left to go. Can we in here, right? Come back and take a look. This is your first visit here? Yeah, first visit. Yes. The orientation of the island is not soft. Okay. Okay. You can go only up to here. No? Okay. Now, there are two creeks here. You will have high tension wires there. Yes. You you are not permitted to cross from either from uh, east to west or from west to east. Okay. Okay. The cruising and sailing here is very restricted. There were numerous islands we couldn't visit due to the local indigenous tribes. We also had to report our position into port control two times a day over the SSB radio. Who, who owns the yacht? You're from the US, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Huh? So you are in the US, your yacht is in Phuket, isn't it? Oh, he sailed it. No, I sailed all the way to Phuket. Sailed from the US? Yes. Yeah, seven, seven years, man. Seven time. years. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Robinson Crusoe. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Everybody okay. say. And the Manai. And the Manai. Yes. The jewels of the sea. Jewels of the sea. <laughs> okay. So we finished all of the. Yeah, we're done. We're in. Process. We're good. We're done. We're good. We're set. So now we're going into town. That last day went so smoothly with everyone coming in and out of each other. It was so good. <laughs> What do you guys think? I think it's awesome. Where are we, Brian? Oh, yeah. I don't know, but it smells great. And it's air conditioned. It smells so good. What do you say? Yep. This one's got our name written all over it. We're going to be eating with our hands, so we're going to make sure they're nice and clean. I don't know, this sink doesn't look very clean. <laughs> Two, three. What do we think? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, yeah. I love that they say that this is not God spicy, but none. it actually is spicy. Holy moly. Oh, very good. Like, that was the best yeah, butter chicken I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Quite spicy, yeah. but delish. That guy had like a ginger beer. Are we? <laughs> the wedding collection. <laughs> they had hundreds of different saris to choose from, all with different colors and patterns, for about 200 rupees each. Oh, that's nice. 
Yeah, Isn't she just my fault? Okay. <laughs> That's what we're gonna look like. Awesome. Look at that one. Whoa, check it out. This looks so cool. Oh man, this is where it's at. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the good stuff. Oh man, you guys take your time. <laughs> oh, we will, Brady, we will. Don't worry about that. Nice and air conditioned. Oh. <laughs> I feel very elegant. like a Swedish yeah. Indian gypsy now. Is that one flops in the skirt? Because yes. otherwise it would like drag. You know? It's so oh, very elegant. Very elegant. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Bollywood star. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have to get one for Karen. That one actually goes quite well with your, with your hair and your complexion. I, I can't choose, it's too many colors. I know. It's great your stuff. I just like to do the Oh, yeah. It's cool. I like that one. Midnight Mystery. <laughs> Even the boys got yeah. into it. How do you like that skirt, Brian? That's Very awesome. simple. It's like a towel. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. You should. What do you think? You know what? Oh, look at all these they're beautiful, but they're quite <laughs> intense. I think I'm gonna go for the um. Uh, the long like top pant combo yeah. Yeah, downstairs. Because this is, I mean, it's beautiful, but I don't know if I would wear it. Oh, oh, it. A few hours later, and the boys were starting to fade. So while the girls continued the shopping, Brian and Brady spotted a man with a magnificent moustache. What, what is this? Today is the birthday of our Lord Rama. What? Today is the birthday of our Lord Rama. Ah. So that's why we are distributing this rose milk. Rose milk and uh, pashat. Wow. It's a lot, huh? What is that? Milk? Milk? This was actually a drink they were preparing for a celebration in the city later that day. So they said goodbye to the crazy moustache man with the pink milk and started chasing some cows down the street. Oh, put your dick out. Dick's out. No, your dick is out. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 what about, bro? <laughs> oh, shit. I wonder why people were looking at me funny walking down the street. <laughs> no, my dick's out. Dick's out. <laughs> okay, here, hold this. <laughs> Oh, die, die pants, bro, they're dangerous. Okay. That happened to me too. There we go. Oh, good. We're all safe now, dude. That's a definite cultural. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Shit, some cows. It's real weird. They're like dogs. What do we? What do we got going on here? The spring collection of 2015, Andaman Islands. Okay. This is the Andaman oh, Island. The hey! As well. Quiet from the talent! Backstage people these days. <laughs> Spring Collection 2015 Andaman Islands Port Blair stuff. Here we go. DJ, hit that shit. Too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Roll it! <laughs> nice one. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's 
going on here, team? Oops. I didn't know you could play. Dabble. A dabble. Dabble. Yeah. I'm singing to my kombucha. Mm, yeah. It's a big mother cake, isn't Let it? Let me get up close and personal with this beast. Ooh, Brady. It actually smells delicious. Mm-hmm. Check that thing out, man. That's what I'm talking about. The customs guys. What is that? Sun tea. <laughs> they don't they don't care question that shit growing in there, but they question the fact that we put the labels off of our canned food. <laughs> okay. Later that day, it was time for our final mission. Here we are in uh, downtown Port Blair at the local veggie market. Dallas is totally out and we're leaving tomorrow, so we're going to come and stock up on fresh veggies for the trip. It's a weird market down a bunch of weird alleyways. Yeah. But it doesn't smell. No. Like a lot of markets we go to really stink. Yeah. Really nice. What's cool about these markets is they don't give you plastic. They give you like these papery, cottony. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah, it's, really yeah, it's cool. awesome. Come on, people. Remember how good this shit is? Mango mm -hmm. ginger. But we need some of that. Thank you. He gave us a deal, he gave us four rupees off because he didn't have the proper change. Well, isn't that sweet? But this stuff, it's like a, it's exactly what it is. It's pickled lime. So it's like vinegary, salty, sp real spicy, acidic, oh, oh, mango ginger. That just so. sounds delicious. Doesn't it? Got mint. Should we get some mint and coriander as well? But fit in the fridge? It's maybe too many. Just one more, maybe. One more. We got some potatoes and some garlic. I think everything was like 200 rupees. So that's nothing. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah. Did you guys get some onion? Yeah, some red onion. They don't have yellow onion. Okay, cool. What an amazing first impression of India. And with all the checking complete and a fully stocked fridge, we were ready to cruise the islands. Up next, Delos leave Port Blair and set sail for the jewels of the sea. Catch our first squid ever. Is it all over my face? Yeah, it's all. And anchor next to a live volcano. Camera, action, that's dirty. Yes. I like India. <laughs> <laughs>